Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Philippine Public Attorney's Office opens a hotline for victims of a bullet planting extortion scheme at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. PAO Chief Presida Acosta says those found guilty may be criminally charged. At least 40 security officials are under investigation. The extortion scam involves airport security staff who allegedly plant bullets in passengers' bags to frame them and extort money. Transportation Secretary Juna Baya downplays the scam as isolated cases, saying data doesn't suggest a syndicate exists. The extortion scam comes shortly before the APEC Economic Leaders Summit. At least 21 heads of state are expected to attend. In an interview with Rappler, former Energy Secretary Jericho Petilia calls for greater transparency in the way future prices for power are partly determined through sweetheart deals between companies which distribute and companies that generate power. Before leaving his post, Petilia issued a regulation requiring a public bidding process to prevent conflicts of interest. I don't care if it's 101% owned by a distribution utility company. I don't care if Meralco owns the plant that will supply them for as long as you bid it out. I have a problem if you own 100% of the plant and then you just negotiate with yourself. Got it. And then neither one of us, these entities will pay. It's the people who will pay for it. The problem is that regulation can be overturned. Patilia says he's running for senator to make laws that will address long-standing problems. And if there's one thing that I can contribute probably is the complexity, the complexity of energy Probably that's the only thing I can offer at this point to make the changes that most people would not want to touch on. Kidnappers from the Abu Sayyaf group are demanding a billion pesos or $21 million for each of the three foreigners kidnapped six weeks ago. In September, armed men who identified themselves as members of the Abu Sayyaf kidnapped Canadian tourists John Rydstill and Robert Hall, Norwegian resort manager Jardin Sikingsted, and Filipina Marites Flor from a resort on Samal Island. The Abu Sayyaf gained notoriety for kidnapping dozens of foreign tourists in the early 2000s. <laughs> U.S.-Chinese tensions over the South China Sea forced the scrapping of a joint defense statement between the two countries. A U.S. defense official says our understanding is there will be no joint declaration. This is the latest development from a confrontation between the U.S. and China after the U.S.-owned USS Lassen sailed within 12 nautical miles of China's reclamation activities in the Spratly Islands. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake hits eastern Indonesia Wednesday. The quake strikes under the Alor Sea at a depth of 14 kilometers. Indonesia's National Disaster Agency officials say the quake didn't trigger a tsunami. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.